For the past month, we have been in Taiwan. After a few weeks of home quarantine in Taipei, we moved into a beautiful apartment in the southern city of Kaohsiung, where we previously explored nearby parks and very colorful outdoors areas. Today, we are heading to Sijin Island, a short ferry ride off the coast of Kaohsiung. Good afternoon, welcome to another beautiful day in Kaohsiung. It's really hot and tropical weather today and perfect weather to go to an island, I would say. Nice beach, islands, all those kind of things. Don't you think so? Yes, perfect. And today we are going to go to Sijin Island, which is... Just off the coast here of Kaohsiung. It's just a five or ten minute ferry right away. Very easy here, right in front of us. There's still loads of room here on the top deck. Almost nobody here. It's like maybe six, seven, maybe ten people. So it shouldn't be too busy. Oh, it's a weekday, so it's always nice. And we're just gonna enjoy it. beautiful views on the ferry here and see what I saw. Oh, we're moving already. So we made it with about one minute to spare to the ferry. Always good. Just in time. Perfect Woo timing. That wasn't even five minutes, I think. I didn't even have time to sit down here on the boat. I mean, it's too fast, too fast Taiwan, I tell you, too fast. Anyway, we made it to Sijin Island. It uh, looks uh, rather quiet here today, so let's go check it out, see what Sijin Island has to offer. So someone on Instagram actually mentioned to us that if you want to come here, explore the island a little bit, it's really nice to do it by bike, because it's not that big and you can do it in like an afternoon which is about the time frame you have now, that you also might want to consider taking an electrical bike because it's a little bit up and down and up and down, otherwise it could be quite tiring. And we found this little shop that runs like normal bicycles and these interesting looking electrical bikes. The lady just checked if it was full, so we should be good to go. Look at that, pinky piggy. <laughs> no power, just under open. And the chin. Bye. Ooh. Bye. Ooh, I like this. It does make a lot of noise though for an electrical bike. It is pretty noisy. We can still paddle if you want to, right? Yeah, I mean, we can. We can paddle. No, we can't. <laughs> Something's wrong. It's not moving. We're paddling now. Oh, yeah, we're paddling now. Look at us all sporty. The and noise is gone. Give it a little bit electricity as well. The lady told us like if you're going steep uphill you might have to pedal a little bit together with the electricity. So, <laughs> By yep, the way, have exactly. you seen uh, Pinky Piggy here? We made it to the beach. Looks really nice here. It's like a really big, big beach. The sea goes all the way on for kilometers and kilometers. I think uh, we're gonna go here for a swim later on, but first, what do you think? A bit more exploration of the island? Whoop, whoop. Yep, yep. Let's go. Uh oh. Steer our vehicle to safety. That is not safety, sir. Can you hear the door? If the electricity fails and the pedals fail, we can still do like the Flintstones. Yabba oh, dabba yeah, dabba Because I mean, the floor is just open. Please demonstrate. Hey, look, we're not the only ones. What an island. I love it here. It feels like we're in the, the on the grounds of a resort or something. Yeah, with all right. these little lanes going through this lush green yeah. scenery with palm trees and Almost bushes and locking up our baby. Always important to lock up your babies. So behind me you have what's called the Rainbow Church. It's not an actual church, it's just an art project. It's beautifully colored, right next to the beautiful beach and sea here. It's really beautiful to come and make some nice pictures here. Maybe we're gonna take a nice thumbnail photo for a video. And then over here you have the Rainbow Arch. It's a really nice place to have a quick stop when you're driving your electrical vehicle here. The 
we're now arriving at the Shell Museum. I don't know if you can actually go inside or what it is, or just maybe an exhibition. But there's a very, very large shell here. This is the Shell Museum. A big seashell. Kim, please don't hog the camera too much. I mean, you're just taking the camera all the time. I think it's a little bit shellfish. No. <laughs> When I say it's a really big shell, I mean it's really big. Just wait. To be fair though, I don't want to meet the snail who is dragging this shell around. I mean, really, I don't want to meet him. Looks like a monster straight out of a horror movie. So far, I can only say to everyone who recommended us coming here, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's thank just, you so much. I thank mean, you for the great recommendation. Look at the palm trees and the yeah, constant really nice. ocean views and yeah. like the small quirky stuff to see. I just love it. It's yeah. beautiful. Right next to the sea when you're driving your electric car around. It's just really relaxing. It's really relaxing. Yeah. And the weather is incredible. Thank you for that as well. <laughs> We just had a quick little stop here at the windmill park, I think it's called. It's got some uh, windmills and also they have some nice little sculptures here. I mean, nothing too special, but again, it's really nice. With the seaside, you've got like a bit of coastline there, some waves coming in. It's time for our favorite parts of the day. First, her favorite part, then my favorite part. Ah, oh, okay, makes sense. But if you read some of the motivational things, motivational speakers, motivational quotes, one of them is, do something that scares you every day. So I'm gonna let Kim drive. <laughs> I think we can do that. Okay. I'm not a religious guy, but please, God, help me. Ah, not so fast, Kim! Look at me! I'm driving an electric vehicle! Where are we going? Straight ahead. That, straight ahead? Straight ahead, that Captain. Way? Full speed. That way? Yes, that way. That's straight ahead, that way. Aiming, aiming. <gasps> Perfection. Whoa! I was just kidding, by the way. Kim is actually a pretty good driver. So. I have a bell! Yeah, ring, ring. Oh, Kim, Kim, not that fast, not that fast, please, no! No! Florence. Not that fast! Ah! So we've come to the small ice cream parlor where they have some shaved ice cream and then also some ice cream cookies, some ice cream sandwiches, which is what we thought because shaved ice cream that's usually several scoops of ice cream. You're just in the mood for a little bit of a snack. And then we also have this, which is a lemon juice, but apparently it has some ice cream in it as well. This is my kind of place. Ice cream and stuff you don't expect it to be. So I'm gonna stir it. Mm. Oh yeah. I also got myself a little ice cream cookie. Just cost 25 uh, Taiwanese dollars, so that's what? 80. Uh, 75 euro cents, 80 dollar cents, so very cheap. Good for a little uh, bite along the way. We parked our uh, electrical cart somewhere over there near 7 Eleven, which should be easy to find, but there's also many, many 7 Elevens in Taiwan, so also a little bit of a risk factor, so hopefully we can find it. That would be great. Perfect for these hot summer days. It's not summer yet, but it feel, really definitely hot. feels like a hot summer day. Really, really nice. Scooter should be over there somewhere behind those trees. There she is. Our little beauty. Pinky Piggy. That was a weird sound. <laughs> now for my favorite part of the day. Time for some little beach time, a little swim in the sea here. Oh yeah, it is quite soft. If you look at it, it seems very dark. I mean, it's like it is black a... sand, but it's it's really soft. Not softer than you'd expect from just looking at it. It is pretty hot though. I think two more hours before the sun sets, maybe a little bit less. So we're gonna take a swim. And then we're gonna go up to the lighthouse, which I'm not sure where it is. It should be up there somewhere. Do enjoy sunset with a view. And then after that, scramble to return our trusty piglet bike. We're now coming to the area where you can swim. It's about a 
70, 80, maybe 100 meter piece that they've roped off a little bit. Pretty much all of the rest of the island is not, uh, you're not allowed to swim. There's about- It's big enough. 20 people, maybe 30 people here. And it's a pretty big area for 30 people. So. No swimming? Up until here? Yes, swimming. Over there. And this is where the beach gets really, really dark. Really, really black. It does look a little bit weird. I mean, the sand is very black and the water takes, some, takes up some of the sand. And it looks like this really dirty black water. I mean, of course, it's probably not as dirty, but I mean, it just looks really, really good. Nice. It's pretty cold. I'm not sure if I'm going to swim though. I am. You need to be brave. You need to be very Come on, brave. Go. Okay, I'm gonna be brave right over there. No, you're gonna go into the water. Really? You first, Batman. Just run! Fine. Go. All right, we had a really good time at the beach. Now we are going for this, our last stop here on Sijin Island. The lighthouse. It's said that it has some of the nicest views here. And it's also going to be sunset in about 25 minutes. So we're trying to rush up a little we're bit. We're right on time. Last four or five weeks we didn't have a lot of uh, movement or exercise. So uh, I can definitely feel it now. Walking upstairs. This is the fort. fort? No. He walked the wrong way. I'm pretty sure this is the fort. Looks like a fort though, yeah. Probably is a fort. So as I was saying, we're going to the fort to watch the sun uh, sunset. It's a really nice spot for it. So. Just look at that. Beautiful sunset in the distance here, nice little pier. Here's some uh, beautiful cargo boats as well. What more do you want? And on the other side, you turn around right now, there's a skyline. And there indeed we have the skyline of Kachun. What a beautiful sunset it is. It is very nice. Everyone is being very socially distant. Some yeah. people over there, some people over here on this side, but they're all pretty far away. I really, really enjoyed yeah. this island. Like, yeah, it's really, really nice. I mean, it's not too big. It's like perfect for day or even half a day. I think we spend about five, six hours here. We can do it a bit quicker. We can spend even a bit more time at the beach. And I think for me the part that I like the most about the island is like these little roads that we yeah. got to go across with our electric bike. That's really nice. Yeah, these roads have been purposely built. It's just so relaxing just to drive a little bit with the electrical car and just look around a bit. It goes pretty slowly. In the beginning I was thinking like, hmm, this goes too slow. But after a while you just relax a little bit and you're just looking around. We're gonna end this video here. We hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. We're gonna... I definitely did. We definitely I already did. said that. Yeah. Sorry. Um, we're gonna watch the rest of the sunset and then we're gonna head back to our apartment in Kaohsiung yep. and we're gonna be here for a few more weeks so if you like the video please leave a big thumbs up and make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next couple of videos mm -hmm. we'll be in Taiwan for a while longer while the world returns to normal um, so we'll see you in the next, next one, one. Bye, bye bye